hello and welcome my first video for snapshot debugger using for production environment my name is Nitin Verma and I'm going to show you how we can use snapshot debugging in production environment apart from the set box environment so we have basically two options one for uh, we can use in the uh, local local uh, machine for the on-premises version of Office Central and the second option we have we can use this uh, snapshot debugging for the cloud version so I'm going to use the on-prem version to use the snapshot debugger so let's uh, start so uh, I have already created my new extension here with the new file AL extension file snapshot debugging so I'll, I'll show you how we can use the debugger right now in the production if we are not if we have already deployed our code into the live environment so first of all we have to go to the launch .json file and into that we have to configure our snapshot debugger how we can use that so apart from the configuration we have already in the system you can see we have to create a new one just press the comma here and create a new one and just start typing snapshot debugger as soon as you will enter your snapshot uh, keyword here you will see there are two methods you can see the first method is the snapshot debugging used for the session for cloud and other one for snapshot debugging for your own server like i said before there are two options we can use on in cloud and on prem so i'm going to use on prem version so i will choose initialize snapshot debugging session on your own server okay as soon as you take and configure your uh, configuration for the uh, snapshot debugger you will see the it predefines all the environment type server and server instance you have to basically change those value with uh, your local server environment so in this case i'm just copying over here paste and take your server instance so in my local on-prem version since i'm using my windows authentication so apart from user password i will use my windows authentication and the rest of the things will be same break on next web client and execution context debug and profile so that's it for this uh, launch.json file now so the second important thing is we have to set a permission for d365 snapshot permission for the particular user we are going to use with this uh, windows authentication so for this i'll jump to my back client here so after going into it just find the users you are going to use with the window authentication so in my case i have only one user here so you can see go to the user permissions set here and you have to add a permission here uh, d365 snapshot debugger without this you will not be able to uh, snapshot debugging facility which is available in AL environment so after adding this just close this card and now go back to your extension okay and now uh, after uh, after putting all the settings now we are ready to uh, use the snapshot debugger for this first of all there is a command we have to push uh, the command we can use by going through the command palette here Control shift p or click on this button so in this case you have to find initialize a snapshot debugging option either you can choose this one or you can press f7 button the shortcut key so in this case i'm going to use the snapshot debugging okay so now you see uh, the system is requesting uh, metadata to debug the session so it's uh, create a particular session unique session id every time and it uh, says that this is the uh, unique id it's already been started and succeeded succeeded now you can see here in the status bar at the, in the message is already saying 
check the status of an initiative snapshot, snapshot by using the show only snapshot command by clicking the debugger icon in the corner of the toolbar. So we will use this but uh, this uh, this button or there is a command shift plus F7. If you press it, it will show you how many session is active and uh, how many session we have already used. So in this case, I as uh, I have uh, I have already used one this one. So this is the new session is activated now. So I am going to use this one session again. I will click on this. Now you can see uh, the state now change. Send a request to snapshot debugger to this ID. So while it is opening and sending the request, we need to uh, uh, we need to open our uh, web client again. Either we can choose a new client or we can refresh this page. So in this case, I'm going to use my new client window. So uh, this is the important thing. So as soon as you open a, a new web client with the same server ID, you will see a message comes a snapshot debugging session with this ID. This is the same ID which is used by the extension as I shown you before already started. So click on this OK button. Now you can start uh, uh, your test and see where the error is uh, uh, showing in the system. Okay, so let's see. So in this case, I'm going to use a uh, standard purchase invoice. If you are already aware about the purchase invoice functionality, so how it is used. So in this case, uh, we are not going to enter this uh, mandatory beta invoice number field value here. So it should give an error if we are going to uh, if we are trying to post this purchase invoice without mentioning this window invoice number so in this case we will try to find where the error is okay so now <coughs> i'm going to take the new vendor here after taking the vendor we'll take any item okay and one amount would be anything okay so now uh, our main motto is why we are using the snapshot debugger because uh, sometimes what happens if you develop an extension and uh, install into the sandbox environment and you are uh, already know that you can anytime debug the sandbox environment but sometimes it is not uh, the case with the production environment because there is no facility to debug so in this case the microsoft has introduced this facility snapshot debugger okay so now let's <clears throat> see where the error comes so now try to post okay so now here we have one error the error is you need to enter the document number of the document from the vendor in the vendor invoice number field since this vendor invoice number is mandatory and uh, we should enter uh, a value before posting so this is the error came now so now we'll uh, so this is the error so we was we just wanted to know that how and uh, where the error is and how we can resolve that so jump to the extension now back so you can see the debugger is still active okay so we have to stop the debugger so that system can uh, pull all the uh, all the files and error and all the pages where the error is comes and create it will create a zip file for you so that you can uh, debug offline it okay so now go to the command palette by using the i'm this time i'm using the shortcut key control shift and p and uh, this type finish okay so you'll see here uh, you have to use this command finish snapshot debugging on the server okay and there is a software command alt plus f7 so use this and it will ask you which session so if you remember this is a session id we had already used for debugger our uh, production environment so the same id is asking for the uh, for, to stop the debugger so we'll use this okay so now you see <coughs> the snapshot debugger test session is finished the snapshot successfully saved on this drive 
as a zip file actually this is a zip file is your current folder name you see here it will create a new folder snapshot debugger and it will add uh, the zip file letter zip file 8b5 8b5 so since i have already used the debugger uh, before so this is showing the earlier one also <clears throat> okay this is completed now so now you can uh, try to debug this file offline anytime so now uh, after doing this we'll have a toolbar session here for the uh, debug session if you click on this session and we'll choose which session we have used before so this one okay so now it has been started okay you see how and uh, if you remember we had uh, we had faced an error when we are trying to post the purchase invoice when that invoice number was mandatory so this is how the error comes so now you can try and also it shows you the call stack uh, uh, how the error uh, uh, raising in this case so here we go so you can you can you can debug this uh, you can use debug use this debugger uh, multiple times but it is offline so if you resolve this error then uh, do the changes in your uh, sandbox environment and then uh, uh, develop it again and put this suggestion again into your production environment that's it for the now thank you thank you so much for watching this video